I thought this was an interesting topic to cover because my horse just did it to me. And both my horses, this is Peanut, both of my horses really never had a pulling problem or a tying problem. Um, and I've noticed the past few weeks, ever since really I moved barns, but it obviously got worse. My other horse is peeking. It's, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Um, I noticed it worse when, you know, we evacuated for the hurricane that both of them, for some reason, think that it's okay to start pulling. And she's very good about standing. She'll stand there without being on crossed eyes. Um, but she just now decided to sit back and, and wig out. Um, and I think it's just the change and new surroundings and a lot of trauma that they've gone through and unfortunately it's definitely something i want to address because for me it's never like it's it's just not safe for them to pull back it's not safe for me i'm, I'm a mess i'm sorry i'm sweating my ass off um it's not safe for me uh or anybody else walking by if they were to wig out and it's not safe for them they can break their neck they can break a leg who knows snap something run off I, there's a road right back here um i don't think you can see it but there's a road right here that they could get to, per se, um, you know, if they were to get loose and find the way to the entrance. It's very unlikely, but it can happen, and then they get hit by a car, and it's just, so it's not safe. So, here's what I would do to correct pulling back behavior. Now, Peanut just pulled back because she didn't really feel like it was necessary for me to rinse her face off, even though I just got done working her for the first time in, like, four weeks. So, I went to rinse her face off, and my horse. You, you have to see my other horse right now. I don't even know if I can change it. I can't. Um, anyway, so, uh, so whatever. She decided she didn't feel like, you know, her face being rinsed off was the best thing. So what did I do? She pulled back. She freaked out. Her halter almost snapped and I didn't freak out and say, oh my God, and grab her, her lead rope and say, oh my God, she's going to die. No, I just said, well, it's happened to me enough where I don't like react to it but I just basically said you know whoa relax calm down um not necessarily like that just whoa you know and um just kind of remained calm while she did it and then once she was done overreacting I just went back to rinsing her face and then she kind of realized well shit that didn't work and these I have a nylon halter on her which it's easy for putting on cross eyes but when they start developing that pulling back problem it's actually time for me to probably use both on both my horses use rope halters because they won't break because if she were to have sat back and broke the halter and got away and ran over there to go eat grass well then she just learned shit if I sit back I can break the halter and I can go eat grass so I kind of think that it's it's a it's a bad habit and it's kind of upsetting that both of my horses have for some reason developed this but hey you know, we'll fix it. Right after she was done pulling back, I rinsed her face again. Like, I've been rinsing your face for years now. I've owned you for years. Been rinsing your face. And, you know, I just went back to doing it. And she, she then just dropped her head and was like, okay, I'm not getting out of getting my face rinsed today. So really just what I would do, if you have a horse that's pulling back and has got a problem pulling back, just don't overreact. Don't freak out. Um, put something on them that's not going to break because they will learn to pull back and break it and then now you have a real problem and they'll start doing it more often i'm surprised that she did it because like i said she did this is, this is her she'll stand here all day i can literally untie her and she'll just stand like that so for her to pull back it was kind of shocking my other horse is kind of always a more of excitable um reactive kind of horse so he him doing it he's done it a couple times actually the first day i ever had him um, I was actually eight months pregnant and I went to tie him up on a, on a hitching post, not really knowing him, just kind of being like, I'm just going to feed him and get to know him. I'm not going to ride him. I'm pregnant. Can't. So I went to tie him up and, uh, he flipped out. I guess the tension got here. He flipped out, reared up. He had a, a leather halter that the girl had given me. So that's the one I used, broke the leather halter, took off. And I was like, see ya. I mean, eight months pregnant. I'm not going to chase you down. So luckily I was at a big public boarding facility then. And, uh, I was able to have a bunch of people help me get him because he he was like peace it's like peace so um yeah so peanut I'm just gonna so 
So Miss Peanut here, she's always a good girl. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? See, I didn't mean to pull back. I just, I just did it because I'm a brat and I didn't want to be ridden today. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would just try not to freak out, um, regain control of the situation, and and just continue doing what you're doing. That that's the best thing to do. Whatever made them pull back, even if you weren't there, just just let them figure it out. Um, the best thing to do is not use something like this, like this nylon webbing thing that can break. Luckily, she didn't even pull back that hard because she's been trained not to. Um, she didn't even pull back that hard, so she obviously couldn't, you know, she would have never broken this, even though this one's old and I'm amazed she didn't break it, actually. So, yeah, just remain calm and and they'll figure it out. Just don't overreact. A lot of people want to overreact and, and turn them loose and all that stuff, so keep that in mind. So obviously I had to show Tuppy Boy before we concluded. I am red. Like, I haven't ridden in a while. I've been outside. But Tuppy Boy is ready to get fed. Are you ready to get fed, Can I have a kiss? I love you. I love you. Can I one more kiss? One more kiss. One more. All right, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will do pretty, I like doing like short little info videos um, on just my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna start doing some riding videos, so just hit subscribe and you'll see more. Deuces.